Are you someone that's been wanting to make a change? Maybe you're not happy with your job, you want to make more money, you want to build something for yourself, you want to do something online. Is that, does that sound like you? If that's you, three steps, three steps, that's all it takes. You can make a complete 180 in your life. You can do a total change of what you're doing in three steps. And that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. I had grand plans for doing this video here on the water in this gorgeous setup. But then I realized the sun was blasting me in the eyes. And that doesn't look good. And it's kind of windy. And I can't see right now because I'm squinting. So we're going to do the rest of this video someplace far less scenic. But uh, not a bad office for the day, right? So we went from beautiful sunshine to dungeony cave, but that's just how we're rolling with this. So you'll have to deal with it. Three steps. That's all it takes. You sick of your job. Do you want to be able to make more money on your own terms? Work from anywhere, whether that's at home or on the road, not have to answer to a boss, spend more time with your friends, family, kids, go golf on a Tuesday, whatever it is you want to do. Three steps. In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly what those three steps are, and I have a feeling they're not as difficult as you might think they are. Step number one, you need to build your training ground. No matter what it is you do online, freelance, copywriting, affiliate marketing, blogging, there are certain fundamental skills that you need to develop if you wanna be successful. Things like copywriting, how to be persuasive with your words, the basics of search engine optimization, so you can create content that actually gets found via Google, the basics of web design, how to set up a website. All of these things are going to benefit you no matter what type of business you want to create. But here's the mistake most people make. They'll read all about it. They'll read blog posts. They'll buy courses. They'll read books about how to learn all of these skills, but then they won't ever actually practice the skills. So that's why step number one is creating your training ground. And what I mean by that is you're going to create a website. You're going to create a website that gives you the ability to get hands on with all of these skills. You can start writing headlines. You can write your about page, trying to craft compelling copy. You can learn the basics of search engine optimization as you create blog posts and trying to get them to rank and search. You can start learning the basics of design as you try and put together a website that just doesn't look like crap. All of these skills are going to benefit you no matter what it is you do. So the first step is you just need to set up a website. The good news is this is really easy. You go to bluehost.com, you buy a domain, you get your hosting account, you do one click WordPress install. Within 15 minutes, you can have your website up and running. And then from there, it's just a matter of kind of tweaking it and learning how WordPress works and how to create something that looks pretty good. If you're curious why I choose Bluehost, I've got my review below, but generally speaking, it's the most affordable, they've got great customer service, and it's a really good starting point for beginners. Now you might be thinking, I have no idea what kind of website I wanna create. It doesn't matter. It's all about just starting something so you have your sandbox, so you have your training ground so you can start learning these skills. But generally, there's gonna be two types of websites you're probably gonna start. One is a blog, where you write about whatever it is you want, and you learn those skills in the process. The second one, however, is what I recommend most people start with, and that is creating a freelance services website. What is that? Well, that leads us to step two in this whole process, which is freelancing one of those skills that you excel at and using that to make a little bit of money to build momentum and to further build your skills. So most people start with freelance writing. Freelance writing is the easiest way to make money online. You might be saying, I don't like writing. I don't wanna be a freelance writer. That's not like my goal in life. But what I tell people is when I first started out years ago online and I was doing freelance writing, I was doing freelance SEO, they would say, well, are you passionate about doing freelance SEO? And I was like, no, not really. But I'm passionate about the freedom that it gives me. It helps me pay the bills so I can focus on the projects that I am excited about. I am passionate about that. So essentially freelance writing is a bridge business. It's gonna be the bridge that gets you from where you are right now to where you wanna be. It's gonna help you start making money so that you have options. Going back to step one, the website, I recommend most people start a freelance services website. This is just a basic five, six page website where you are offering your freelance writing services. It's very basic, but it also gives your website a purpose. So now you are creating content that you're trying to get ranked in search so that you can get freelance writing clients. You're trying to craft compelling copy on your about page, trying to prove that you do know what you're talking about and that you are trustworthy and that you would be a great person to work with. So step number one, you start your training ground where you can start building those online skills. Step number two, you freelance those skills in order to start building some income, building some confidence, building some momentum so that you can then get to the point where you're making enough that you can leave your job and start doing this full time. Is this all making sense? Is this, is this resonating with you? If thumbs up, thumbs up. If so, thumbs up. 
this, that's it. Finally, this brings us to step number three in the process, which is applying everything to something you're actually passionate about. Like I said, there's a good chance, even though you can make a six-figure income as a freelance writer, that may not be your jam. You might be like, dude, I am passionate about video games. I wanna create a brand all about video games. So step number three, you would create a blog or a niche site all about that thing that you are passionate about. So for me personally, I've got niche sites in the photography niche, uh, golf, and cocktails. So I've got all of these different websites around things that I'm passionate about that make me passive income. And it all started because originally way back when I started freelancing so that I was able to put myself in a position to have the free time to work on those businesses. More importantly, by starting my blog, step number one, by freelancing, step number two, I actually had the skill set in order to be successful with those websites. This is why I recommend this kind of location rebel three-step process. Most people will jump right in. They're like, I want passive income. I'm gonna start affiliate marketing. But even though the concept of affiliate marketing is simple, you get a special link, you put it on a website. If somebody clicks the link and buys the product, you get a commission. Getting someone to the website and getting them to click the link and getting them to buy the product that's difficult to do. And it's really difficult to get enough people to do it so that you've got a full-time income. But if you start with your training ground and then freelance to hone in those skills, then by the time you do start that site, you're going to have the education you need and the skill set you need in order to make it successful. So there you go, three steps. If you're trying to build an online business, that is all you have to do. My name is Sean Ogle. I'm the founder of this thing here at Location Rebel where we teach you how to build small businesses you can run from anywhere in the world these types of businesses that give you the free time to do more of the things you love to do in life. Because let's be honest, that's what it's all about. Hanging out on a Tuesday on the river. Now I just need a boat. Where can I find a, a boat? If I had that, my life would be set. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.